in every field there is a supreme master in every generation. The general public probably has not heard of him. But within the circle of masters, all will acknowledge one person as the supreme master once they see the evidence. In the field of nonfiction book writing, the supreme master of output is a man who calls himself Jack Neusner. This is not how he is known to the academic community. He is known as Jacob Neusner. He is a rabbi. He is an academic scholar, and he was for decades a college professor. What you are about to see appears to be impossible. If there were no public record of it, no one would believe it, especially not an academician. I point out four facts. First, the earliest book is dated 1962. That is 50 years before this video. Second, each dot or bullet represents a book. It is not an article or a book review. Neusner has written many of these. I am not sure if anyone knows how many. Third, book publishers have published these books. They were not self-published. A buyer was expected to pay for each book. Enough buyers bought so that publishers kept publishing. Fourth, the list ends in early 2005. That was over seven years ago. He has continued to write. Go to Google, search for Jacob Neusner, books, and Amazon. Do this year by year, 2006, 2007, and so forth. See what you find. With this in mind, let us begin. As reported in Time magazine in 2008, the total as of 2008 was 950 books written or edited by Neusner. That is 20 books a year, but he has continued to write since 2008. In a round number, this is a grand total of about 1,000 books. That is one book every two and a half weeks for 50 years. Every two and a half weeks, he completes a manuscript and corrects the page proofs of any previous book. I want to believe that he does not index them personally. He has raised the bar, as high jumpers say. Want to try to raise it higher? I don't recommend it.